One of the things that we've said many, many times is the pigs got us into this and the pigs are going to get us out. Well, Jane and I have a family farm operation with our two sons, uh, Matt and Pat. My husband and I started with 12 sows down on the floor and in straw and, and um, we've, we've come a long way. We had a passion for agriculture in general. And our goal was that if any of our children did want to be involved in farming, that we would be able to offer them the opportunity. Family's probably the most important thing in our lives. In our situation here, Matt is uh, an excellent livestock person. It's the best mix of all worlds. I mean, raise our pigs and raise our corn and soybeans during the summer months, get to enjoy the beautiful countryside. It's, it's pretty great. And then Pat uh, is uh, very mechanical. I, I tell my buddies from the city that I went to school with, I said, you know, I'm just one guy out here in the corner of Minnesota just doing my part to feed the world, you know, and so that's what we're trying to do and, and we work really hard to do the best we can with what we have. I just feel that it's, it's probably one of the most important tasks and vocations and callings that you can have in life. We care for the pigs because it's the right thing to do. If they're not happy, they're not healthy and if they're not healthy, they're not productive. Something my dad has always taught, my brother and I, is barns don't raise pigs, people do. Our biggest assets is the people we have working for us. And without them, we couldn't do it. There's thousands of families like us across the country that, that do what we do every day. I think the family farm is the backbone of what, what agriculture is and what I want agricultural to be. Gary's always told us since we were really little, if you take care of them, they'll take care of you.